Maker Max here. I'm going to show you how to put together a Harvey sliding glass door as the instructions are absolutely pitiful. Let's get started. First thing you should do is lay out all your hardware. <clears throat> this already came installed. I don't know why they sent another one. Not really sure what this screw is or these screws are going to be used for. These two and a halfers, they're going to go around the outside and then these smaller ones are going to get used to install the frame to the actual building. The directions don't tell you what these screws are for. So let's use these to put the frame together. Lay out all your pieces with the nail fins facing up. So we're going to use these two and a half inch screws. We're going to use three of them. They're going to go on the bottom. One, two, three. This is the sill plate. And you line up with the nail face going on the outside and it should all snap together kind of nice. There we go and install the three screws. Just go around and repeat that in all three corners. Next, you're gonna need a white pan head screw and this plastic cap, which has a hole in it. So this is gonna go in just like this, this is the top of the door. This will slide right in here. white pan head screw. We're going to set it even with the, the hole on the top here. All right, repeat that on the other side. I didn't film it, but this pan head screw needs to go in the bottom sill in this hole and it locks in the screen track. Next, we're going to install this astragal, which is the piece the door latches to, which it latches right there. So I have the track, the aluminum track right there that the door rides in. The astragal is going to go into these four holes here and these four holes. And you're supposed to use these screws. The problem is you have to check your door on the end. There's already going to be four screws in there and that's where those have to go. So you got to remove these screws first on both ends and then those screws get used to install it. I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to take the four screws out of the top and the bottom. Now that you've removed those screws, you can turn this at an angle and install this piece. All right, it's got a top and a bottom. All right, the cutout goes on the top. Make sure the latch is facing towards your door. Now, this is a three panel door. If you have a two panel door, you're not going to have this section here. Then we're just going to reinstall the screws that came out. careful that those screws go back into that extruded aluminum piece on the inside. I'm pretty sure uh, this one didn't because if I put the screw on it, the driver just spins. And I think it went off at an angle. So we have our opening framed, remove the old door. There was absolutely no water damage due to the four foot overhangs that we have. So we added some fresh wood because the new door is about an inch smaller than the old door. We did flash the bottom. Um, but we're not worried about any water because there was no water damage here in the last 50 years. So now we're going to test fit the door and then we'll run a bead of silicone all the way around the whole thing before we set our door. Make sure you put a good bead of caulk along the bottom and then we caulked around the outside frame where the nail fin will go. Then we set our door in place carefully to lift it and set it in the lower caulk first and then pushing it into the caulk around the nail fin. Then we measured diagonally across to make sure that it was square and set in the frame. And then using two screws, we secured the top to keep the whole frame square. We used a straight edge because the vinyl will bend as we shimmed around the whole frame to make sure that everything was straight. Then you put caulk in the holes before you put the screws in. Also, you want to caulk the corners, the bottom corners you want to caulk to keep any water from getting in between those layers. Use a level to make sure the sides are level. 
then we're going to use a straight edge as we put the nail fin in place. And that allows you to pull the vinyl in and out just a little bit because the vinyl will move. So these little plugs are a pain to get in. So if you take a knife and just round it out a little bit, it makes putting in those plugs a little easier. Otherwise, they're a bear to get in. Once you get the door installed, the main door goes in first. I would recommend adjusting the wheel so it can slide left and right and using the uh, sides to make sure that the door is vertical and lines up with the frame. And if you get the door and you're going to put on the interlock that has this piece here that flips in and out. And it's got this metal bar in it. You want to put the metal bar in the little hole up here and then push it in with a hammer. And then slide it up. There we go. There we go. That was it. Pour put the door in. You got a silicone on the inside edge here. And then you also want to make sure that the glazing, this is like this replaceable piece, is on the inside. And you can tell by the groove. Next step is to install the stainless steel brackets, top and bottom right here. You got to pre-drill it. And then you're going to install a pan screw into the window and then another pan screw down. Caulk the holes. Before you put the interlock cover on right here, these nubs, see how they stick out past the window? I don't know why, but we gotta trim that off. We're gonna use an oscillating tool to do that. Final step to install these, notch goes on the top. Put it up in there. Pound it away with a rubber hammer. Overall, the Harvey makes a quality door. The thing is, there's a lot of leftover hardware, which I guess it's better to have a little extra. The only thing left to do is to trim the inside and outside of the doors, and we're done.